Hello everyone. This is my demo for the Vet Keys uh, bounty. The project is called Quick, and basically its purpose is to provide other web services, not just only on the AC, but any other web service also, to be able to um, um, verify digital documents of their clients. So, for example, here we have uh, a website of Krakosia Airlines, which sells web flight tickets. and um, But they only sell th those tickets to people who are Krakosian. So, to those who have Krakosian passport. And only to those who are 18 years old or older. Uh, so, in order for them to securely verify this data, without storing the passports, without verifying passport themselves, themselves, uh, like with, with the real people and stuff, they want to do this automatically, this verification. So they use Quick for this. And we want to buy a ticket from them. So we click on book tickets and we get redirected to Quick, um, which, which is uh, basically prompts to us that Kakoja Airlines wants to know your first name, last name, date of birth from Krakosia passport, from this document, Krakosia passport. Um, this interaction between Windows happens uh, like client side, completely client side, no, no backend interactions are needed. And so um, this demo, it, it not only shows how wet keys work, uh, it, it also shows uh, how you can use MetaMask to authorize to web services on the AC. Um, here we can click on continue. And basically uh, we see a prompt from MetaMask that it requests our signature. Um, how it works, basically we generate uh, um, a session, session key and we get a principle of it and we then sign this principle. And when we, uh, we sign this principle, and then when we call to our backend service, uh, it will derive um, an address, a MetaMask address from the signature, and it will compare the signature, uh, the principle from the signature, and the principle which uh, with which you are requesting it, and it will like authorize it, uh, authorize you this way, and so it will use MetaMask's address, which is here, uh, in order to. Uh, like store your data and in order to identify you, not your session principle, which you're using to like make requests, but this MetaMask address. So, and it will also use this MetaMask address uh, to derive the um, encryption that key for you. So here uh, we see that I already have some documents but um, we won't use them. We will like request a new one. And uh, in real in real life scenario, you would like choose a schema for a document you want to to get uh, like to 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 digitalize, and then you would choose like some authority uh, that would uh, like like ver verify that you did uh, this digitalization of the document correctly, and uh, that will sign this document for you. But here we only have one. And this uh, authority is called Kakoja Passport Service, and um, it is the one uh, which signature is valuable for our Kakoja Airlines website. They will uh, verify uh, exactly for this public key, which is which is uh, known uh, in advance and publicly. So they know and they, they trust this Krakosia passport service and they only want you to bring them a, a document which was signed by, by them. So we, we, we have a little chat here. We request a digital copy of a passport. They say like, okay, show us a picture of your passport and of your face. Um, like in reality, this KYC process may be like um, much more sophisticated, but here we only have photos. So we say done, and they say, okay, here is your your digital digital passport. Um, basically, we have five fields here. We have uh, first name, last name, date of birth, state of residence, and date of issuance. This is some fantasy passport, so 
don't don't mind it. And, and we'll see that this passport is signed by Krakowia Passport Service. Um, but we saw that um, Krakowia Airlines, they, they don't want all five fields which are listed here. They only want three. They want first name, last name, and date of birth. Um, and we, we have a way to only show them three fields uh, without showing them like state of residence, where we live, and date of issuance. Uh, so um, th this this technique, um, it is based on Merkle tree, and it is basically the same way and the asset canister works. So we we can like create a Merkle tree from these fields, and we can sign the Merkle root. I mean, Krakowia Passport Service can sign the Merkle root. And um, then when we like, we will present these documents, some fields of this document, we will hide other fields and uh, because of the properties of the Merkle tree, they will still uh, converge to the correct Merkle root. And so, I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, here we basically have a button save to my documents. And this is the part where uh, wet keys play. Um, basically when we click on it, uh, we already got the wet key. Uh, in the background, it was uploaded, not uploaded, it was derived, derived from our MetaMask address. And when we click on the save button, we basically encrypt this document securely with IS encryption, and we store the encrypted document on chain uh, to the canister, backend canister of Quick. And basically no, no one can, can access it now because only we can derive the wet key. And so when we go back, to my documents, we see that we now have three documents, three passports, and uh, here is the, the last one is what was uh, what we did just now. So um, once again, uh, when we read these documents, we just read the encrypted the cipher text, and then we decrypt it uh, in client side. And so when we click use, uh, remember that we still. Uh, we want to, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we get redirected back to Krakowia Airlines and Windows, uh, quick window will um, send a message to this window of Krakowia Airlines with them um, proof that we have a document and that we indeed have three fields. And all of these three fields are listed here, but none of the rest fields uh, are available to this website. And also this website verified the signature that it was indeed uh, signed by the Krakowia Passport Service. And they say like, okay, this, this document is okay. And when we now click on book tickets, we see a message that your tickets are ready and uh, have a safe flight. So this is it. Thank you very much. Mm. Goodbye.